Um, good evening, sir. My name is Kate Walker, and you are... Sorry, I... Oh. This monk's taken a vow of silence. He won't speak to me. I wouldn't dare interrupt the meditation of a monk. Whiling away those celibate hours, I wouldn't dare interrupt the meditation of a monk. What on earth is that? I wouldn't dare interrupt the meditation of a monk. I wouldn't dare interrupt the meditation of a monk.
Anybody there? Uh, excuse me. What? A woman? Women are expressly prohibited. What the devil are you doing here, woman? My name is Kate Walker. I'm a lawyer from New York. Excuse me, but I absolutely must speak to you, and your monks wouldn't let me in. Miss Walker, your female presence in this dwelling of monastic retreat is unwelcome. It is very troubling. Please leave quickly. Please forgive my slightly cavalier methods to get to see you, Father, but my cause is just, I assure you. I have no need of assurance, my girl. Remember, you are here beneath the gaze of the Almighty. I have a friend who is really sick. In the village, I was told that... We must all brave the ordeals the Lord sends us, my child. My friend is named Hans Vorlberg. He has devoted his life to making fantastic mechanical machines. His automaton soothed the harsh daily labor of the people of his day, and amused them, entertained them. He's a genius inventor, you know. Hmm. An inventor, you say? The inspiration of such people is often cowed to humility before the marvels of God's own creation. I have come to ask the assistance of the priest healer in the monastery. My friend is very unwell, and very old. Sometimes a body weary of life refuses treatment. That is why we here tend to the soul. From what element is your friend suffering? A high fever. It started with a kind of fit. He felt... Sometimes we have to just accept the inevitable, my child and resign ourselves to the call of time. You don't understand. Maybe Hans is old and frail, but he has but one desire, to continue his journey. We have to learn how to meet our fate, my child. This is God's will. My friend needs treatment. You are the only one for miles around who can give him the care he needs. I need a sign. From the Almighty, or else I can do nothing for your friend. I am sorry, Miss Walker. I really need your help, Father. You're our only hope. My girl, I attend only to extreme cases, grave illness and madness. But this is an extreme case, Father. There is a rule, Miss Walker. You must respect it. Bring me the imprint of your friend's suffering. I know what you were telling me. I brought the shroud. Show me, my child. Right. We will go search for your friend. It's our man. He's got something. Canton? I can barely hear you. What news have you got? I, I talked to the hotel guys, Mr. Marson. She checked out of Arrowbad last week. Headed off with Hans Vorlberg. How is she? Seems her health is fine, Mr. Marson, but, uh... What? Her behavior seems... Don't beat about the bush, Canton, please. Look, Mr. Marson, it's like this. I'm afraid that Miss Walker has been acting... Well, how do you say? Differently. Did you sleep well, my child? Yes, yes, thank you. How is Hans? Alas, 
You brought him to us so late, my child. I fear we cannot do much. We are going to concentrate on tending to his soul. What? What did you say? The man is worn and old. His final hour is upon him. But that's impossible. Your friend is dying. You must believe me, my child. Please take care of Hans, father, please. Torment yourself no longer, my girl. I will tend to the poor soul. Can I see him? No. I do not advise it. Deranged minds are often too addled by evil, and you could become contaminated by its sly malevolence. Look, contagion doesn't bother me. I've got to talk with him, you understand? The rules, Miss Walker. Remember the rules. No one talks to the sick. I just can't abandon Hans like that. I must see him immediately, you hear? Okay. So be it. Your friend is in the last chamber at the end of the corridor. I beseech thee, my girl. Pay no heed to the imprecations of a sick, delirious, dying man. I will wait for you in the chapel when everything is over. For the formalities, you understand.